Hello, it's Jilly here from funcrafttodo at home.com and I'd just like to remind you, if you don't want to hear the voiceover, you can turn the sound down and the subtitles on. Today, I'm going to show you how you can make this gorgeous bracelet from a downloadable template that I designed and I've made it available on my website for a limited amount of time free of charge. Eventually it will go into my Etsy shop and you will have to pay to get this but at the moment it's completely free. To get this template you will have to go onto my website which is www.funcraftstodoathome.com and click on where it says free printable designs and that will take you to this page which is password protected and I will give you the password at the end of this video and as I said it's only going to be free for a limited amount of time because as soon as I can get it into my Etsy shop I will be removing it from my website so if you want to make this bracelet the time to get the template for free is now so if you happen to be watching this video after April 2020 it's possible that the template may no longer be on my free printable download page but at that point it will be available in my Etsy shop so let's get started to make this bracelet you're going to need these beads and to make these beads you are going to need this template now whether you get it for free from my website or whether you buy it from my Etsy shop later on, you're going to have to download it and print it out onto 140 GSM glossy photo paper. And then you're going to need to cut the strips up and you will need to use between 20 and 24 strips depending on how big your wrist is. So that means you will need to print two sheets. Now normally I would recommend that you get one of my bead tools to complete this bracelet but I do understand that in this lockdown period not everyone's going to have access to uh, bead rolling tools. So I've devised method number two of rolling beads without a bead tool. So if you have a knitting needle that's roughly five millimeters and some Pritt stick glue then you should be able to make these beads. You will also need some one millimeter elastic because I can't think of another way of stringing them. Hopefully you will have some double sided tape and you need to put a piece of this across the end of each strip. Now you're putting this on the end that's got the image on it and then just trim off any excess like you see me doing here. and peel the backing off the double sided tape before you start to roll and then put a tiny bit of Pritt stick, glue stick at the other end on the inside and this is actually quite, um, I was surprised that this works but it, it works really well, I didn't have one single middle that pulled out and I think it's because the glue stick takes quite a while to dry so you know it's only on there for a few seconds so once you've finished rolling and you and you stuck that end down you just turn the knitting needle just turn it turn it turn it and as you turn just gently pull it out of the middle of the bead and there you have a perfectly rolled bead with no bead tool. I don't know why I'm telling you this because I make the bead tools and I sell them. <laughs> now you can see these look quite white because the inside of the bead is white so if you want you can just take a sharpie or some other kind of marker and just darken them up. They do look better look you can see here 
In my left hand, I've got the ones that I've put the marker pen on. In the right hand, they're still white. So I would recommend that you do that. And even where they're stuck down here, look, it's a good idea just to finish that off with a bit of black pen. I haven't quite done mine all properly because I was in a hurry to get this video done. But um, if you want to spend some time and just do it properly, it is worth it. And then you just need to string them. And if you've watched the previous video, you'll already know how to string them. It looks complicated, but it isn't once you've done it a couple of times. If you are enjoying this video, I'd be very pleased if you subscribe to my channel and also hit the bell icon so that you get updates of all my new videos. I am trying to post once a week at the moment while this lockdown period is on and I am trying to make my the things that I make, I'm, I'm trying to think of things that people might have you know around the home. Um, I am going to be putting more free templates up for people that have got printers and are able to print off the designs. I'm going to make them free. Um, as I said at the beginning of this, my designs will be free, um, but I, I will I will be putting them in my Etsy shop at some point. So what you need to do is squash the beads flat once you've strung them, and then just tie the ends off like this. And there's your bracelet. And you don't even need to varnish this because if you use glossy paper like I have here, it's 140 GSM. I'm not sure what that is in pounds in American weight, but you can you can look it up. Well, I hope everyone is doing okay. In the UK, we've just gone into the fourth week of lockdown. And I think it's the same in, across the rest of the world. I think we've all now gone into the second lot of three weeks. So I hope everyone's having fun crafting. And um, have fun making this bracelet. And if you haven't got any elastic... You can still get the template and make the beads and then maybe at a later date when you can get elastic you can string them and make your bracelet. Anyway, I think it's time I gave you the password so that you can get the free template that's on my website for a limited amount of time. You will have seen the instructions at the start of this tutorial and as I said to you, I am going to be giving you the password at the end of the tutorial. So, coming up any second now is the password and it's very important that you type it in exactly as you see it here, just for you. That's the password and you must type it as you see it here. It's been lovely having you here and I look forward to seeing you next week in my next video. Bye for now.